I'm viewed by my peers as someone who's very strategic, but I'm like 98% execution. I am just anything I think, I just do it. I don't even, I almost don't think of things anymore. I just am already doing it. It's, and it's, I, I think it's, it's so trumpet. important. Yeah. I think it's so important because again, it's, it's less about trying to read 50 books and listen to 500 podcasts and all that. It's about being really thoughtful about where you want to consume the content, like your show. And then also the application of that. Like, how are you going to apply to your business? And then taking the necessary steps to do it. It's like all my fellow speakers, they'll get in front of audiences and they'll even, you know, like Gary Vaynerchuk, we both know, he'll literally tell everyone in the audience only like four years. Yeah, I love that. He says it every time, right? He's like, I know. It's so so true. I even know it too. You know, even earlier in my career, I was like, yeah, I'll have like one person who, who will actually do something based on this talk. Yeah. It's because it's easier to listen or to say rather than do. When someone is like, like I, I know a lot of my peers are like, they come out with a book and it doesn't sell well. I always say, it, the worst thing that can happen is you have a book, a podcast. <laughs> the worst thing that you can happen it's if you stop after five episodes is you can say you started a podcast and you've talked to five people. Yeah, there's so nothing to lose. Yeah. You really have nothing to lose and everything to gain and it's part of your journey. Like everything you do is part of a journey. Like I, you know, I my own magazine and companies, books, all this stuff. It's all part of this longer narrative that is your life. It's that fear of failure though, right? People are scared. They want, they're, they're looking for permission to do these things or they're like, they're, they're, wait, they're, they're scared of what people may think if they fail. It's all That's of those it. things that go along with it. Right. And I, I've always been in the, in the sense where I think, again, coming from being an athlete and, and doing many sports growing up, my business part of the same, we have the opposite. We try things on purpose because we understand that we're going to have to fail many, many times before we achieve that. We didn't start playing ice hockey together and become amazing ice hockey players in one day, right? We had to fail. We had to fall a hundred times and it hurt and we got back up and we did it over and over again. So when we, when we moved into business, we were already, already wired that way. We didn't realize the value of that at the time. I realize it now, how valuable that is to just be in a situation where you love running towards hard, horrible painful situations and seeing what happens and <laughs> that's something which i realized that we need to instill in our employees as well and we're seeing it more and more now companies are giving their employees permission to fail right it was a great Rewarding article it. i read a few years ago about a leader that gave people permission to fail you know what he did he gave out a, a card uh two i think it was two cards to each of his teammates and each card represented uh, a risk. So you would have to use your two cards by the end of each quarter and each card's a risk. So you have to take two risks by the end of the quarter and you would be punished for not taking, for wow. not using those cards. So you created, he created the behavior. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like comment and share so that others can benefit from the great knowledge and experience. Also, please consider following me here on LinkedIn to see content as soon as it's published. Special thanks to Safeguard Global for supporting the show. You can check them out above. Apart from that, thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.